Welcome back everybody. Thank you for being with me today. I haven't had a chance to put out more content because duty calls. My job, my responsibilities go first and then when I have the opportunity then I swing back around and prepare more content for you all to enjoy. What do I have here? What the hell is inside this Pelican case? Well, I'm going to tell you it is about $5,600. And you might be thinking, ah, oh, well, that's not a lot of money considering all the stuff that Jay buys. Are you sure about that? Let me show you what this is. Welcome back everybody. Thank you for being with me here today. Please subscribe and hit that like button. Today I have something new to show you. I have never owned a device such as this. Okay. And if you want to know what it is, well, let's get right into it. Let's see. Wow, this is beautiful. This is a network switch. Look at this. Beautiful thing. It's about 34 pounds, if you're wondering, okay? 34 pounds is what this weight. The weight is absolutely insane. All right, let's look at the inside. Great. Love this Pelican case. Really nice. So now what you're seeing is really part of the biggest benefit from this particular device. This is actually the module that they sell. Okay. So if you can see, you actually, this is what goes basically from the network switch into the back of the Takeo Extreme music server. This is the card, the new module, if you will. Okay, let's take it out carefully. And there you have it. Now you're looking at it. This is the new card that will make all the magic come true. This is $5,600 as configured, and it weighs about 34 and a half pounds. It is heavy. This thing is absolutely built like you can't believe. Pure copper, okay? And if you wonder, what, what, what is the purpose of this device? Well, the purpose of this device is to basically connect your Ethernet cable from your router, okay? into this piece and then you're going to go out of this piece with a fiber optic cable into the back of the Tico Extreme music server assuming that you have of course the module that they sell that you have to install which you're about to see how I do that now when I first bought this piece I was confused because I thought this was the router that was going to replace my my Nordos network switch with the power supply. Turns out I was wrong. This is not a router. Again, this is a network optimizer. This is going to take that Ethernet signal, basically squeeze the most performance out of your network. That's what this thing is going to do. Once it enters this device, it goes out of this device, fully optimized for the music server to do its magic. Now, of course, I can already hear the chirping you all talking about. You can't believe that they're selling something this expensive. When I started my channel, I never said I was going to do what everybody else does. I was going to do things that very few people embark on. Perfect example, cables that are back there, $80,000 speaker cables, which I still have to come back to you all and give you my feedback on those cables. XLRs, $40,000 XLRs. 
This is what my channel is about. I am super excited to try this device. I don't know what to expect, uh, but the weight is on freaking real. It has to do something. My mind is telling me this has to do something that has to be audible. Given the fact that I own the best, one of the best speakers in the world, I expect for my system to talk to me and tell me if indeed this was worth its asking price. So let's get started. Let me walk you through how to install the module that you have to install in the event that your Takeo Extreme music server doesn't come with it from the factory. I'm not a uh, technician of any kind. I just happen to be uh, an idiot with a screwdriver, okay? If you wanna know. There, I said it. You can laugh now. Look, I can do this, okay? Because a lot of you all are always afraid of doing these things. Couple of instructions. You know, one screw. Here you go. Get that out. We're gonna remove the second card, okay? This is the old card, okay? See, and we're gonna replace this one with the new one, right? This is the optional. This is the one that does a lot of magic with the new network switch, okay? The module, that it's an optional thing. So look at the difference. Okay, it's heavy too. This thing is really heavy. So all we're doing is the same thing, okay? All we're doing is putting it right where we pulled that one from. Here we go. Just a little bit of play, just kind of play with it a little bit, and you're done. Done. See, didn't even try to play trickery, any kind of magic with the camera work, none of that, okay? Here we go, screw is in. Okay, tighten it real good. That's good. And now, we you undo this, see, this is just a, literally just on and off. Take this piece out, okay, and we're gonna insert the new one they gave us. This is the old one, this is the new one, okay? So all I'm gonna do now is simple. That's That went in right there without any sort of hiccup, no issues of any kind, with my hands, no special tools, okay? And all I'm gonna do now is plug these in. Plug them where they go. That's it. One. And then the next one is just finding it. Two. There you go. Voila. Wow. That wasn't hard at all, was it, guys? And there you have it. This is how you install the network card on the Takeo Extreme Music Server. So you saw it. Not a lot of work. One screwdriver and an alley wrench for the cover which is right here okay it's all you needed okay not again i'm not a, some sort of a uh, you know electrician or electronics engineer or anything like that i am not and i felt comfortable doing this so if i could do it so can you in case your comment is going to be wait a minute I'm going to spend that kind of money on this music server and have to do the work. Let me just tell you one thing. When I order this piece, it didn't come with the optional switch, the network switch. This is why I'm doing it. If you order it, if you order the unit with it and the module, the module will be installed at the factory for you. So you don't have to do any of it. All you have to do is grab your network switch and plug it into the back of the unit. That's it. I'm doing it to demonstrate that you should not be afraid of doing things like this, okay, with the Takeo Extreme. Also, it's supposed to be transformational when it comes to the sound that I'm gonna get out of this piece.
I already love it. This is why I'm a dealer for the unit. But I am so curious to know if this $55, $5,600 upgrade is going to take my system to even greater heights. Again, digital is getting more expensive. We know this every single day. More pieces come out, network switches, routers, cables, grounding devices, outlets, power conditioners, all sorts of things are coming out every single day. Well, I have nothing to do with that. I am simply a madman who reports about all of this stuff. I buy this with my own money and then circle back and tell you what it did for me or what it didn't do for me. For now, I am going to connect my network switch straight into my router. Then eventually, I may buy the router that Takeo Extreme also sells. I don't know yet. I want to do this one step at a time. I don't want to rush through things. I enjoy the journey and my journey never ends because of this. So I still have my reservations about how much improvement this is going to give me. But all I can do is try it. And the cool thing is, guess what? You don't have to spend your money. I'm spending my own. All you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy. See you soon, and thank you for that support. Peace.